I just finished my first year of law school and it was way different from what I expected. So here's what I wish I knew before I started. First up is the reading. There is a lot, and I mean a lot, of reading in law school. Like every day you have an hour plus of reading for every class that you're in. And it's not light reading either. It's all densely written cases and court opinions. Sometimes it would even take hours just to get through a single case. Now, this may have seemed obvious to some of you, but I knew next to nothing when I started law school. So the sheer amount of reading was a pretty big shock to me. Just like the fact that you actually have to do the readings. In undergrad, I almost never did the assigned readings. That's because like most types of school in undergrad, the professors actually taught the material. And I was able to pick up everything that I needed for the course just from their lectures. That's not the case in law school. Here, the professors don't so much teach the class as they spend the entire time just asking questions, making sure you understood the cases. And if you didn't do the readings, then you're in for a pretty rough day, especially if you get cold called. But if you're prepared, cold calls aren't that bad. Going into law school, I knew about the Socratic method, and I knew that professors like to use cold calls to help teach the material. But everybody made it seem way worse than it actually is. Typically, when people talk about cold calls in the Socratic method, they make it seem like this barbaric ritual that's meant to only make the students feel stupid and get some of them to even cry. Which does happen, but only if you're completely unprepared. Most of the time though, they're not a big deal. Everybody gets cold called at some point, and most professors have no problem if you need to pass because you don't know the answer. They may try to walk you through the question and see if you can get there eventually, and you may be a little embarrassed if you don't actually get the answer, but that's as far as most cold calls go. What really sucks though is the writing. It is completely different from any type of writing you've done before, and it takes forever to get used to. For memos, you need to completely eliminate all bias and opinion from your writing. And for briefs, you need to be persuasive without being pushy or insistent. Judges want you to explain why you win without telling them what their decision should be. It's an absurd balancing act. And what makes it worse is that you aren't meant to be creative. In fact, creativity is highly discouraged. The ideal piece of legal writing is something that a robot would write. To top it off, you need to use the most convoluted citation system ever devised by a human being. The blue book. This piece of trash right here is so convoluted that there are multiple books written about just understanding the damn thing. They have a ranking system for which reporter you should even cite to. There are multiple different ways to cite direct quotes and they vary depending on how many words the quote is. There's even a list of abbreviations that makes so little sense that lawyers have started making meme accounts about it on Twitter. Oh, and the majority of the rules in this thing don't even apply to actual practicing lawyers. They only apply to people writing for law journals. And the two rules aren't the same. You can tell that nobody knows what the f*** is doing with this thing by the fact that the blue book is on its 21st edition. For reference, APA is on its 7th. What's even worse than the writing though is the research. In order to even write a memo or a brief, you need to spend hours looking for and reading through every single case written on that legal issue in your jurisdiction. And you better not miss any, because if you do, it'll undermine your entire paper. It's a massive pain in the ass, and it takes a ton of time. For one of my memos, I spent 14 hours researching before I even wrote a single word, only to realize the next day that all of my research was completely useless because I missed a single case about how an element of the crime should be interpreted. I ended up pulling an all-nighter and working for almost 30 hours straight just to get that memo done on time. And do you want to know how long it was? 2300 words. This script is almost as long as that. And trust me, I did not spend nearly as much time on this. The reason why my memo was so short wasn't that I ran out of things to say. It's because in law school, you don't have word minimums, you have word limits. And this brings us to the next thing that I wish I knew. Law school is different from undergrad. 
Again, some of you probably think that this is obvious. Of course law school is going to be different from undergrad. It's law school, but it's different different. Before starting here, I'd never had a word limit placed on any of my assignments. And I'm willing to bet that almost none of you have either. I'm also willing to bet that almost none of you have taken a class where the entire grade is based on a single final, or a class where the professor spends the entire time asking questions instead of actually teaching. There are a lot of unique things about the way law school works, and it takes time to get used to. But the adjustment is a lot easier once you realize that you don't learn the law in law school. Instead, you learn how to think like a lawyer. There are word limits on assignments because lawyers need to be concise. If you drone on and on in a brief, a judge isn't going to be impressed by the length of your writing. They're going to be pissed off that you don't get to the point and they may not even finish reading the thing. Professors cold call students because law is a high pressure career. You need to completely understand what you're talking about and be able to explain it to an antsy client or a pissed off judge that doesn't want to wait for you to think it through. Law school isn't about learning the law. It's about learning to think and act like a lawyer. That way, when you get out into the real world, you can actually be effective and you won't embarrass yourself. At least, not too badly. Once I figured this out, I was a lot more comfortable with law school. I understood what the professors wanted from me and I was better able to meet their expectations. The past few things on this list have all been to say that law school is hard, but it's not difficult. And yes, I know those are synonyms, but let me explain. Law school is hard. There is a ton of work and it's completely different from anything you've probably done in your life. So it'll take a while to get used to. But the work isn't that difficult. Most of the concepts that you'll learn are pretty straightforward and easily understandable. If you do the reading and put in just a little bit of effort, things will start to make sense pretty quickly. The tough part about law school isn't that the material is difficult to understand. It's that there's so much material and that you need to adapt to the way that law school works. Honestly, a lot of the material is pretty easy to understand. Just put in the work doing the reading and it'll click. Speaking of doing the work, be careful how you spend your time because not all of the work is necessary. In law school, a lot of students will take the time to brief every case before class even starts. And then they'll take the time to add their notes to an outline once class is over. Some people even reread the cases once the class is over to better understand it for their final. I'm telling you, all of this isn't necessary. You can be extremely successful in law school without briefing cases or making outlines. People act like if you don't spend every waking minute preparing for class, you're wasting your time and you're going to be at the bottom of the class. And that's not true at all. In fact, if you spend all of your time focused solely on law school, you're on the fast track for burnout and even depression. If your goal is to be ranked number one in your class, then sure, spend your entire life working on your outlines. But don't kill yourself if that's not your goal. Instead, you should study and work until you feel like you understand the material. For some people, this might entail spending dozens of hours briefing cases and making outlines. For others, they might pick up everything just by reading the cases and making a final outline. If you're lucky, you might even be able to completely understand everything without even doing any of the reading. What matters is that you do whatever you feel is necessary to achieve your desired outcome. Everyone learns in different ways and at different paces. That doesn't change just because you're in law school. So don't get swept up in what everybody else is doing. Instead, focus on what you need to do to be successful. Most of the things I've said so far have probably made law school sound pretty awful. But the truth is, law school is fun. Going into law school, I thought that everybody was going to be a preppy snob who only cared about their grades. And those people do exist, but the majority of people in law school are pretty awesome. Everyone is smart and driven and comes from a unique background. You'll have students from wealthy families that were destined for law school since childhood. You'll have people in their 30s and 40s who have had full careers already and you'll even have former college dropouts in classes. Plus, everybody's in an environment where you don't have any real responsibilities besides learning. 
and the topics that you're studying are super interesting. Most schools will even put on events where you get to learn about niche topics from people that are at the top of their field. This year we had Mark Cuban, the Suns GM, and the Cardinals GM all come and talk at our school. Plus, schools will constantly be throwing mixers where you get to rub elbows with alumni and other successful attorneys in the area. So it's not all reading and studying. There are a ton of things to do which are actually fun and interesting. To top it all off, there is a ton of partying. Again, I thought that law school was going to be full of a bunch of nerds who don't know how to have a good time, but I was wrong. Almost everybody in law school is over 21 and we're all stressed out from working so hard during the week. That's a recipe for some pretty fun weekends. Overall, law school is a lot of work, but it can be really enjoyable. Those were some of the things I wish I knew before I started law school. If you haven't started yet or are thinking of applying, what are you curious about? And if you're already in law school or have graduated, do you agree with my list? Make sure that you like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.